Hello and welcome, I am Scrapperlock, and this is City of Villains. We are once again with our mastermind, Nightmare Lass, who has almost 5 million XP. We'll probably get to 5 million in this episode, 767,000 to go to get to level 38 and our final secondary power. We're on a story arc for Hardcase. So we're going to give him a call, and he says there's something going down. But if you're one of those I-want-to-eat-human-brains types, um, no, why would I eat human brains, then I got nothing for you. Look, we may be villains, but we still have to live here. <clears throat> I do what I do to make my life easier, but I don't go out of my way to hurt people who don't deserve it. I make my own destiny, and I don't care about laws unless someone's strong enough to stop me. But I ain't a monster. You know those whaler demons? Well, they've been going around St. Marshall collecting souls from people who don't deserve it. When demons take out people, they make pacts with that's one thing. But when they start picking on folks just minding their own business, that's when I gotta step in and kick some demon butt. If you're still in if you're still here, then I guess you see things my way. Head over to the slums of St. Marshall and protect the people. So now we're going to have to go fight demon fire with demon fire. <clears throat> Um, as we go, as we begin this, I, I do want to make sort of a comment um, about comments. So something's going on on YouTube. I can't figure out what the problem is. But pretty much all of the comments that Kiovar has made, if you're listening, Kiovar, pretty much all the comments you've made in the last two months have vanished from my uh, ability to see them on YouTube. So it'll like, it, if you're the only commenter, it'll, if Kiovar is the only commenter, it'll say, there's one comment in the number of comments when I look at the video, but the comment isn't there. There are even a couple places, including the last episode of Planet Zoo that I did, which is episode, I don't know, 13 or something, where I made a comment, Kiovar responded to the comment, and I responded to Kiovar's response. And you can see that I tagged at Kiovar in there and replied to what Kiovar said. I can see my initial comment and my response to Kiovar, but not Kiovar's comment. So I don't know what what's going on. The normal this is normally a symptom of a comment that's held for moderation. I got a notification for all of Kiovar's comments up to and including I think yesterday or whenever his most recent one was fairly recently. Um, but when I go click on the video where it says in the notifications that the comment is located, I get nothing. And when I look at the list of comments, the whole first like dozen or so of them are other commenters in other videos. And the first one I see from Kiovar is from two months ago, which is ridiculous. I've seen and responded to count comments of his up until two or three days ago. So I don't know what's going on. And um, I've tried Googling, you know, how to fix this. I've tried the various fixes. None of them have worked. Um, I've looked both using my regular account that's the, the, the account that owns this channel and using my personal account that's different I can't see it you know using another browser I tried going in with edge which I don't use for anything as like not logged in at all I can't see those comments so I don't know what's going on um, there's nothing being held for moderation as far as I there's nothing listed in the spam and all the other comments are uh, other people have made are visible and Kiovar's older comments are visible but not the more recent ones so I don't know what's going on if anybody has any suggestions on how to fix this I have tried changing settings I have tried all of the things that are easily uh, implementable using Google logging out logging in incognito you know turning off ad blocker that kind of stuff none of that has worked um, I did find a thread on um, the YouTube sort of discussions in within Google of uh, over a hundred posts, all reporting essentially the same thing, that they see the comment in their notifications, but when they go to look, it's not there in their in the actual comments beneath the video. And it's not being held for moderation, it's not being held as spam. Nobody can figure out what to do with this. And there's one or two people has a proposed solution, like one person said Oh, if you like zoom out, make it a 90% instead of 100%, you can see the comments. It's got something to do with YouTube's stupid page formatting. Well, I tried that. I zoomed it down to 50%. I can't see the comment. 
Um, it also doesn't explain why I can see other people's comments. It doesn't explain why I can see Kiyavar's older comments. It doesn't explain why I was able to see his comments up until yesterday or the day before, and I can't see them now. So, uh, Kiyavar, if you're listening, I, uh, I can't reply to your comments because I can't see them. And I don't know why that is. And uh, you might want to check something on your end. There is one possible answer um, that I saw that I can't troubleshoot. And this was someone who said that their own comments weren't appearing. And when they investigated, apparently they had made too many comments too quickly on perhaps one or more channels. And they were somehow tagged by YouTube as a spammer. And then none of their comments were appearing. So you might want to look and check into that. I suspect that that's not the case. I feel like this is a problem on my end somehow. But I've checked every setting there is. I even went to the length of making Kiavar a pre-approved commenter. So the comments can't be held for moderation. That didn't bring any of them back. I don't know if that will work going forward. So um, again, I, I do apologize both to Kiavar and any other person who wants to read my responses to Kivar's comments, I can't see them, and I therefore can't respond to them, and when I try to hit reply under the notifications, it just brings me to the video, and then gives me no comment to reply to. Um, I do get emails about them, and when I checked, when I clicked on reply from the email, it just gave me an error message and said that page is no longer available. Now, there is a possibility that Kivar made one comment and deleted it, Maybe Kiavar deleted a bunch of comments. If they've all been deleted, then that might also explain it, but it would be weird that someone would delete comments going back two months. Like, I don't know why. So, if anybody knows, of a, if anybody's had this happen to them and knows how to fix it, please uh, feel free to let me know. I, I'm going to say post in the comments, but since this is happening to Kiavar, I don't know who else's comments I might not be seeing. Um, and Kiavar, if you have a fix for it, I don't know if you post a comment if I'll see it. We are friends on Steam. You can send me a private message on Steam if you know how to fix it and let me know that way. Um, but anyway, I won't say any more about it. Just trying to explain that if I'm not responding to those comments and other people are seeing them, it's because at this point I cannot see them. And again, if anybody knows how to fix that, please feel free to let me know. And hopefully... I'll see the comment. All right, so we're looking for vi victims to rescue and um, just beating up whalers. I'm, I'm not kind of whipping through this because these story arcs have been really, really short. And we got a whole bunch of levels to go to get to level 40, and I don't know if there are any more level 35 to 40 contacts left because these story arcs are so short. I have the feeling I may be in for some grinding or for doing some Praetorian missions to try and get... Or, or doing some uh, flashbacks to try and get some more missions done and get some XP. I'm not really sure. Um, don't have this problem on the hero side because there's so much hero content that does not have anything to do with Praetoria that I never had issues. And as you know, with Silver Phoenix, I was turning the XP off and never ran out of content. So um, we have a bunch of contacts here, right? But all these things that say First Ward, yeah, that's garbage. That's just Praetorian. So those two are out. I could do Operative Rutger, but I suspect he's going to, if I go talk to him, he's going to say, and Simon is going to say, we don't have anything for you because they're Nerva Archipelago. And I think those missions end. They, well, they might go to level 40. We might be able to try them. But I feel like we've had very little in St. Marshall. I mean, we came into St. Marshall when at like level 33 or 4, and I'm at level 37, and I feel like I'm running out of St. Marshall contacts. Hardcase was the only one offered by the broker. So I suspect the broker may not have anything more for me, and if that's the case, then I'm not sure what's what we're going to do for contacts. If I have to do a lot of grinding, you guys won't see that. I'm, I don't feel like it's worth um, posting newspaper mission after newspaper mission. And I suppose one thing we could do is alignment. We haven't done that, and I could work on those. So if I start running out of stuff, I may do the alignment missions, but I don't know that I'm going to record that because, again, those are just generic missions that don't have anything to do with the storyline.
So I guess at this point I'm trying to kind of milk every bit of experience out of each mission that I can, which is uncharacteristic of me, since I'm normally trying not to get too much experience from individual missions. But I just don't know how much more content is left in the level 35 to 40 range. And I feel like we might be on the verge of running out. Maybe not, you know, right now, but I think before level 40 we might. And I am a little concerned about that. Don't want to do a lot of grinding, you know. Um, let's talk a little bit about this character's performance. I think that this character is performing exceptionally well. We do know that her Achilles heel, because her minions, um, the, the, the ones other than Curly, are lower level than she is, one of her Achilles heels is the purple plus two elite bosses. And that does prevent me from going up to plus two missions. But I think if it weren't for those elite bosses, we could we could just absolutely cruise even through plus two missions with no problem with this character. I've been quite happy with her performance. And um, I've been having a lot of fun with the demons. They're, they're uh, very fun. I love the ranged attacks. Um, I love that they're fire and ice. I think the visual effects of fire and ice are probably the best visual effects in the entire game. So it's like this power set is just designed for my enjoyment <laughs> because I absolutely love the visuals of both fire and ice and the sound. I just think they have the best effects in the game. Um, electricity has some pretty good effects too, and I really like Sonic. But my favorites are... I mean, just look at the fire and ice. It's just so good looking. Oh, was there a guy over here? Ah, I missed this guy. Let's go get him. Because these guys... are they? Did they kidnap somebody? Yeah, there's a kidnap victim right there. It's really hard to see on this background. But there's a kidnap victim right there. See how hard that is to see, but when you zoom in, you can see him. So there's one victim left. And we'll just keep uh, attacking these guys. Um, I did actually see in the email, even though I can't see it in the comments... One of Kiyavar's comments, which was about something I said in terms of what what other game I might want to play, and I mentioned XCOM. And, um, the original XCOM, yes, came out in 1994. I never played it. XCOM that I'm talking about is the, the reboot, XCOM Enemy Unknown, and then the sequel to that, which is called XCOM 2. And I haven't played XCOM 2, but I have played XCOM Enemy Unknown, so I'm thinking of doing that. I actually really enjoy that game. It's got great graphics, or at least it did for its time. And it's a really interesting amount of gameplay. Um, it's turn-based, and uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm waiting for my demons to come over here. Will you guys come on? Come on. Are you coming? Are we there? OK. Um, it's pretty cool. I do recollect that there were a number of missions that gave me fits. I know that the early missions are pretty easy against, like, the Thin Men and stuff, and then when you get to the guys that, like, can walk up to you, they actually kind of look like these whalers. They can walk up to you and, like, just slice and dice your squad. Um, it becomes really difficult. And my recollection is I had to do some, like, reloading saves and that kind of thing. What do they call it? Squirreling it, right, where you reload the save. Um... Like, half the team dies, and so now you're going to have to, like, live with the fact that your team died, and you're going to have to recruit new guys and train them up. And rather than do that, I just usually reload the save and try again. Um, so if people are going to object to that kind of thing, don't watch my XCOM playthrough if I do one, because I will still squirrel. Mostly because I, I don't want to just waste the time of having to level up another crew, you know. And there's the boss. So let's go ahead with our buffs for Curly. 
World of Pain, Hell on Earth, Rune of Protection. Go get him. And I'll come in and debuff him. Bam. And that should debuff both of these guys. And you see that, like, if you can see, there are little, like, down arrows. Right. Oh, he moved. There were little down, like, purple down arrows. That's the debuff symbol. You can see it on this guy right here. They were right there. You see them? The little red and purple. Those are the down arrows. That means their uh, resistance and their defense is being debuffed. We lost one of our little guys, so we'll bring him back. Oh, the boss respawned. Yeah, I, I forget that. These guys are like freak shows. The bosses only. They can respawn and come back. What are you doing inside the wall over there, Mo? So we got him frozen, so that should be the end of this fight. Done. Good job. So let's see, where haven't we been? Over here? Go get him. Now, that technically was a bad way to do it. You should always gather your minions before you start an attack because they come in piecemeal, some of them faster than others, and then your alpha strike is not much of an alpha strike because it comes in in waves. But these whalers are only yellow and they're not very powerful, so it's not like I'm afraid of them. But if you're going to do it, if you're watching me and like how to do it right, the right way to do it is to gather up all of your minions first and then order the attack. <clears throat> Let's see over here. All right, I'm going to dismiss my guys because I guess we got to go up and start looking around because I don't see anybody else. So let's get the limits of the border here so I know how big this zone is. This is another one of these oddly shaped zones that doesn't have a square shape to it. Sort of bizarre. Okay, so we can see now, and this is why I like to do this, you can see where we haven't been. So there's this whole section over here that I haven't explored. But I've been through most of the rest of the map. Nothing there. We do have a corner over here as well. Perhaps. Okay. So let's take a look. Nothing there. Nothing over here. I've always thought these things should like do some damage to you. After all, they are hot and burning. Unless you have fire resistance or something. Up. Oh, is that them? And there they are. Okay. So they're not even in this area that I didn't explore. Okay, we bring up our pets. I love those animations. Very cool. Follow me, pets. I'm not going to bother buffing because we're just going to kill these guys and be done. And this should complete the mission. Did we get a clue? We didn't get any clues. All right. Out we go. All right, so let us call our contact. Hard case, who says, apparently this was some sort of astrological conjunction which allowed the whalers to seize souls without making a pact with them first. You did a good job protecting your own nightmare lass. You got my respect. 
And now he says, we got us a problem. I got a call about some whaler demons breaking into the office in the Golden, an office in the Golden Giza. There ain't been problems in the Giza with demons before, so we best take care of it pronto. Clear the whalers out. So now we're going to go to the Golden Giza, and I will pause it, and I'll bring you guys back when we're there. All right, we are at the mission door. I think these guys need to read their own mission text. This casino is not the Golden Giza. And yet this is a, a bunch of whalers trashing, quote-unquote, an office inside the Golden Giza. Oops. I'm invisible here because I don't really feel like... It's not like we can't fight these longbow, but I don't really feel like battling my way in. This is some sort of an event. I'm not in the middle of the event. I'm trying to do this mission. All right, so where is the mission door? I don't see it here. Upstairs, all right. This is another one of these mission doors where you, like, you have to like crawl all over the map to find them. I really wish they didn't do this. Somebody must have thought this was fun. I can't imagine they purposely made it not be fun. But, like, where the heck is it? It's directly in front of me, supposedly. Where is it? Am I blind here? What? What? Up above me. So, what the heck? Now let's go outside and see what we see from outside because this is nuts no it's it it wants me to go in there there's no is there maybe an entrance up here no it's downstairs so we go in here so this is crazy now i'm 80 feet from the mission door and i'm gonna have to teleport to the mission door because i can't find it and again why why did you design it like this so it's upstairs is there an elevator Like, why am I having to waste 10 minutes of my time to find the mission door? Inside a building that you directed me to. There's nothing back here, right? So the only way to get up from inside, right? You can't go up this way. The only way to go up is, like, to get to the balcony. And you get to the balcony, there's nothing. Like, this is not the way this game is supposed to work. If there's a door in here to lead me upstairs, I'm supposed to see a mission waypoint to that door. So now, because I can't figure out how to get up there, I'm going to have to teleport to the mission door. Imagine if this didn't exist. I would have to cancel the mission. I'd have to auto-complete it, because I can't get to it. So it'll be interesting to see where it gets us once we come out of this teleport. So I'm up the elevator somehow. All right, when we come out of here, I'm going to explore and see where the heck we exactly are. But I don't want to do it now because I'm afraid I won't be able to get back. So let's summon our pets. Oh, wait, we got to turn visible first. Let's summon our pets. What just happened? Where are the pets? Where are Larry and Mo? You see this? What? Like, what? Where are Larry and Mo? They're not visible here. Like, what is going on? I, I don't know. Buggy. Are they back? They're back. There they are. Okay. All right, so let's buff the pets. Come on. Now I'm clicking on the buffs and they're not working. I don't know what's going on today. You 
won't stop us now. I guess there's an ambush coming. That's kind of stupid because unless I open the door, they can't get through the door. So, like, if I didn't want to be ambushed, I could have just left the door closed. <laughs> Not that you could complete the mission that way. There's a whale of lieutenant. Let's teleport these guys over here. Mainly because I'm afraid my minions will fall down through the holes in the balcony here. Where is my mouse? I've completely lost the mouse. There it is. I'm afraid they're going to fall down here if I send them, like, running across. So this way... We don't have that as an issue. And they stay with me. Alright guys, come over here. There we go. And then come here. Very... Very carefully. We don't want you falling down. Aggroing the things downstairs that I'm sure are down there. Although I don't actually see anything down there. I will tell you that I have been having very poor luck with bugginess in my computer applications. First there was Planet Zoo giving me all kinds of bugs. Then there was YouTube potentially giving me a bunch of bugs with comments. And now I'm getting some bugs with City of Heroes. It has not been my week. Oh, I'm asleep. Well, we can break free from that. Now, in the old days, sleep would have turned off my flight. But these days, it just suppresses it. It, it negates it while the sleep is active. But then uh, you get it back without having to turn it back on or wait for it to recharge before you turn it back on. Right? If it's a toggle... Sometimes there's a recharge to it, like, for instance, stealth, right? If that got turned off by sleep, you'd have to wait for this to recharge before you could turn it back on, right? So it's not only was it suppressed, but now we you have to wait, you know, 30 seconds or whatever it is before you can turn it back on. And I guess players really hated that, so they changed it to suppression rather than a turn off. I personally think the turn off makes more sense. And that's what I'm actually used to, so I kind of feel like the suppression makes your toggles seem almost overpowered. But, um, obviously, that's the way the game works now. And here comes another ambush, maybe? Again, through they can't come through the door. So it's really kind of funny, because it can't really be an ambush. Here it is. You wanted to be you want an ambush here, teleport. That's an ambush. And of course I missed him. Of course. Well, we're just gonna go in and aggro everybody who cares. These guys are not powerful enough to worry about. Whaler Queen's a lieutenant, she's a little more powerful, but she's not a big deal. Fine. And that's the end of the Whaler Queen. There's another Whaler Queen. Go get her. And let's give Curly some extra damage. So now, why did I pick her first? I've mentioned this a few times. If you have a lieutenant that you want to actually st stop... Um, they do take a while to put down, but one of the first things Curly does is the ice entangle that holds them, right? So this is a case where it's actually better to go after the lieutenant first if, you, if they have an ability you're trying to stop. 
So we need to stop the shenanig the we need to stop the silver tongue ooh from escaping. So where's the silver tongue? We're gonna have to worry about that guy coming. Let's let's leave my minions down there. We have to worry about that guy coming past me. So I'm gonna actually leave the minions guarding the door for a bit and see if I can just sort of scout out our good that's not a hallway. Okay, that's just regular guys, so we can not worry about them. they didn't even notice me. Haha. <laughs> Alright, I don't care about them. We have to we have to stop him from uh, going past us, so it looks like he's gonna have to go here. And there's a door, so he couldn't have gotten past us anyway. All right. To the elevator. So now the, the rule on these guys that are trying to escape is when you get to the level on which they are, they will immediately try to run past you. So if they're not on this level, you can explore it with impunity. But if he's on this level, you have to stop him. So I'm leaving my minions in place so that they will attack him. Alright, so there's a door here so they can come. And I'm going to put them guarding this spot. I've, I've been screwed before with these guys running past me. Alright, so we're going to pull the whaler here. And attack it and then we're gonna pull the next whaler over mostly here I don't want my guys to get caught up in that room and then silver tongue runs past us right as long as my guys are here they should block him. Check down this way. I don't think he should be down here. But my guy should attack him if he tries to come through, and I'll hear it. And then I know to come back and check it. There's another whaler. Okay, let's put him in, in there. Nope, missed him. I have the feeling Silver Tongue's not on this level, because I think if he were, he would have already tried to run past me. So this is going to take a little while, guys, because I don't want to get my minions so caught up in a fight in this section that we can't block the way out. Guys, you're going to stay here. And I'm going to look over this way. Oh, I see a horde balloon. Yeah, yeah, I'm out of here. Okay, so he's going to be coming this way. He's going to have to come through here, so we're going to wait for him. Let's start buffing. There he is. Get him. Oh, he's caught in there. Let's see if I can debuff him. And if you can see, you see these purple down arrows. You see that? And orange down arrows. That's a debuff. Alright, so now that we got him, now we don't have to be cautious. We can just go kill everybody. Oh wait, he re he rezzed. Go get him. But I don't think I don't think he could escape at that point. But we definitely want to kill him. He's worth eight thousand XP, so that's pretty awesome. And what did I say we were going to get to in this episode? 
Five million, we're there. Nice job, guys. All right, now we just kill everything with impunity. And I think there's a couple of there are a couple of guys on the level below us. We're gonna have to go back. I don't mind doing that. I just didn't. I didn't know uh, where he was gonna come from, and I wanted to make sure we stopped him. I think that for these types of missions, if you stop him, you shouldn't have to do a defeat all because your goal was to stop and arrest or whatever this one guy. But it's fine. There we go. Alright, so let's go up. Come here, guys. Having a little bit of trouble negotiating the stairs, but they're with me now. Alright, there should be some enemies over here, I think. Was that a doorway that he opened? I did, I wasn't aware that they could do that. I thought they couldn't come through the doors. Maybe I'm wrong. There should be more guys up here too. Nobody in there. There we go. So this level should be cleared out. And now we just should have to go down to the next level. The previous level, right? That we were just on before this one. And there were a couple of whalers in the one corner who I left because we were looking for Silvertongue. Yeah, I guess he can open the doors. I thought they absolutely could not open those doors. Mark me down as wrong, guys. I've been saying for a long time they can't come through the doors, but I guess he can. Because there was a doorway there. You can see, right, this metal frame around the door. And if you come over here, there isn't one, so there was no doorway there. It was just open. All right, so these guys were where? Over there. Oh, there's somebody upstairs, but I think there's some down here as well. Yeah, so let's go get them. There we go. Now we have to go up, or actually, let's see. Stay here. See if I can send them down to you guys. Who's up here? Oh, there are three of them. It's going to be a pain to do all the teleporting. Come on up here, guys. Follow me. Kill. These should be the last three, I think. Unless I've missed somebody somewhere else. And that is the mission. Oh man, look at all these enhancements we've got. Mostly magical. Or magical natural. So I can go to the magic shop and sell those. We're capped on salvage. I need to start doing something about that. Let's dismiss our companions and head out. Oh, I should have... Oh, I was going to say I should have gone invisible, but no. Alright, so let's see. Where the heck are we here? If we go out this door, where are we? We're down here. Now, what? Because when I went in through this door... Oh, it's the back door. Is it the back door? Or, did they, or is it a different building? Nope. 
They switched buildings on me, guys. That is really weird. So we went in through which one? I want to say we went in through this one, right? With the with the hearts and spades and clubs on it. And I couldn't find the door to the mission because it wasn't in there. It was in this building here. What the heck? That is pretty buggy. All right, let's talk to Hardcase, he says. Silvertongue, the Whaler King, was there. That demon is probably... Get, this demon is problem is getting worse by the minute. We're going to have to deal with this. I'm not sure my character considers this demon thing to be a problem, but... Okay. We will continue with this storyline next time. Until then, I am Scarpalock, and this has been City of Villains on the Rebirth server.